hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to start with the new topic that is php pdo crud okay so we will be doing a crud application using pdo that is php data object so guys now let's get started so first we are going to insert the data into our mysql database okay so let's get started so let's go to our editor here you see guys that i have just set up the template with the bootstrap and here's the output for this at index.php that's it so now let me just design one simple card yep card card header where inside this card header add this and inside this h3 tag i want a tag add student so we will take an example of student for inserting the record where button primary and here the form name we will get create as student add.php let's copy this and here we create one form i mean file and let's control a control c copy and paste fully here and let's tell insert data into database using php pdo okay so same title will be copied and pasted here and this will be the back button let's make it to danger and here we move as index.php so guys now let's design with the card body part and let's see the output for this okay so yep let's refresh cool so design is perfect guys let's make this button to right side so move to your index.php and add the design float end okay refresh now let's click on this you can see student add.php here is the form same class you are going to copy and paste in your add student done and now guys you need to create the form over here so let's begin form where method we are going to accept as post and let's see the output now for this okay so now let's create the input fields so guys i have created a database where you can see that a table named student okay and inside the student where i have few fields in it where id is the auto increment and primary key okay and here is the full name email phone and course done so let's get back to the browse and now let's implement the input fields so first margin bottom three and the label I don't require for over here let's them full name and the input field that is form hyphen control where this input field name will be full name that's it now let's copy this paste here let me just minimize and zoom it okay the next was email email and another was phone let's make this input field phone and final one course okay so let's give the course done and simple guys one button we require it let's add that button b u t t o n button where save student and let's design this button with the help of bootstrap class primary and the button type we are going to keep as submit and this button name will be as save student button okay as simple so now guys let's uh, go to the action code.php and create a file so when you click on the save student it goes to code.php with the method of post and this method post will 
take all your input field data. So yep, let's create a file code.php. So guys, before working in this, you let's check the output once. Refresh. Cool. So these are our input fields. So if you want to make this small card, you can just go here and let's give eight here and refresh. Perfect. So now guys, let's get back and go to the code.php file. So now guys, first step, let's open PHP and close PHP. Start with the if condition where inside this is set function, you are going to check with the post method because you are getting the form using post method. Now you need to copy that button name. Let me just minimize. Okay, let's copy this. The button name, here it comes. And now guys, all your input fields. So one is full name is equal to dollar underscore post method of your input field name okay so what input field name is that full name email phone and course okay full name so same way we have to paste for email phone and course done so now guys we have to insert this into our database so for that guys you have to write the query so before writing the query you need to give your database connection so let's include the database include where dbcon.php file so let's create the file with the name dbcon that is database connection database connection.php and inside this open php and close php now let's give the server name is equal to will be localhost dollar username is equal to that is root and password is equal to null right now and the database is database name what is my database name here we find php tutorials so let's paste here done and now guys let's use try catch and inside this pdo exception so let's type pdo exception dollar e okay e this is exception now let's understand and whenever it goes the connection let's tell connection failed okay and get your get message so this is a default function to show all kind of errors okay done and here now let's begin with database connection so conn is equal to connection is equal to pdo function and inside this you are going to set up with your connection guys so first your host and then your database name so that is connecting with mysql host is equal to your dollar server name okay so this is server name semicolon and now db name is equal to your database name all set so this is our host and database now guys you can give the username and then your dollar password all set so this is how we connect our database oops here we missed that semicolon and now guys you need to let's give set attribute attribute function where pdo utter error mode okay attr underscore err mode error mode where pdo you are going to error mode exceptions also you will get so let's tell pdo colon colon exception i mean error mode exceptions that's it done guys and you can just echo here that is connected successfully if you want to see you can just see or else let's comment and keep right now now guys our database connection is set up let's go back to our db i mean code.php and let's write the code 
so our query is equal to where we will tell insert into table name so that is students your column fields and then your values so guys now for the column fields let me just copy that okay full name email phone and course copy and paste here done let me just minimize and let's take out the spaces give comma and just give the space and now guys let's here colon full name comma colon email colon phone comma colon your course all set so guys now let's run this query dollar query underscore run is equal to where you will be preparing it so dollar con your database connection where we are going to prepare this above statement or query so let's copy this and paste here so what is this con is nothing but your database connection okay so this one so you are calling this and it's getting connected so guys after preparing this query let's bind our values into this so for that guys let's create a variable called data in a array format where you are going to bind that values so this is the variable full name we are getting from the input field full name okay and where you are going to put that is over here so just copy this with the colon okay don't miss out that colon and paste it all set so same way you are going to prepare for your email phone and course and these input fields that you are getting from your input form okay let's copy and paste here so now guys we have binded the values and now let's execute inside this so let's copy this query run and dollar query run of xe execute function inside this dollar data so why you dollar data you are passing all this inside this and now you are going to execute it i mean this is your uh, query executed is equal to if this query is executed you are going to show the message else you will tell not inserted so now guys let's use a session to show the message message is equal to where we will tell inserted successfully and let's redirect back to location location colon where index.php exit so you need to copy this once again and paste for the not inserted okay done and if you're using session make sure you're starting the session at the top of your page session start so once it executes this guys then you are going to uh, your index.php and we want to show the message of this right so let's copy this and go to index.php okay so this is index.php here so let's open php close php if colon where we will check is set if this message is set something session is set so you how you are going to check let's call the session at the top of the page so let's call the session underscore start done so our session is started and let's end the php i mean end the if condition end if and we have to show that in a h5 tag something like in the alert 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 success and here we are going to echo dollar session of message okay so this will show our output yep 
let's get back to the code.php all set guys so now let's check and execute let's refresh so now here database is empty right now let's insert the data with prakash with at gmail.com some phone number bca and let's save student insert it successfully so now let's check the database perfect so guys our data is inserted into our database so now let's try to add one more record om prakash om at gmail.com where some random digit phone number bca course save here we go inserted successfully let's browse and see cool so guys our data is saved so guys in this video we have successfully learned how to insert the data into database using php pdo okay so guys thank you for watching this video and let's continue in next video about how to fetch the record from database in the html table so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share